This Liberty Sports Update is brought to you by Beacon Credit Union. All right, Chris, I asked uh, Cottrell this uh, late there in the fourth quarter. You, Micah, Cottrell, Tank were all on the field at the same time, four true freshmen. Did you get a chance to enjoy that moment to see all three of you all on the field at the same time? Uh, definitely. Uh, I definitely uh, embraced that moment because, you know, uh, kind of the future of the team. And uh, just for us, as all freshmen to be out there together, is uh, definitely a great look at for what we have in the future and what we uh, plan to come with. So. Four of y'all haven't been typical true freshmen. You guys have been pushing for playing time. Obviously, you and uh, Cottrell got on there opening game against Syracuse. Micah coming over the injury. You know, finally got out there for the first time uh, Saturday, and then Tank got out there. What's been the mindset the four of you guys have had and really wanted to push each, push each other? But also push the veterans and try to get some playing time. Um, with that, uh, just being uh, just being freshmen. Just coming in together, uh, we just kind of lock in together, and uh, just we just had the mi same mindset. Uh, just Coach Simons, he uh, always said, always said uh, that we, we're not freshmen. You know, we don't we don't play like freshmen, and uh, that's just what we came here to do uh, from the beginning. So that's that's what we uh, plan to take on, and just not play as freshmen, but play as just as seniors, also as uh, Jesse and other other great leaders on the team do. How do you stay focused out there, and and as you know, a younger player not let the moment get too big for you. What do, what do you do to kind of relax yourself before you go out there? Um, really, I just try to take on the outside perspective, looking just as if I was watching myself in the game, just to kind of calm myself down. Uh, just try to look at myself from as if I was a fan and I was looking at myself playing on the field. So think about it just as if, you know, just try to calm myself down, just don't try to make it seem as big as it is, whether if it's in the moment or just in the game. So, You're from Lynchburg. How much fun is it to be able to play here in your hometown in front of you know family and friends? Uh, it's definitely truly a blessing. Uh, a lot of people don't have this opportunity. And uh, for me to uh, continue to play in front of my fr uh, friends and family is uh, definitely, definitely great. So, your primary position is free safety, correct? Uh, I came here uh, to play corner. But uh, I think it was about the first first week or two. Uh, that's when they uh, made me made the exchange uh, to move me to safety. So, what is it to learn behind another uh, area guy in Javon Scruggs and mm -hmm. how hard he plays? He's described as the best tackling high safety on the team, and to come in and learn from a guy like him who played last year as a freshman. Mm -hmm. um, it's definitely it's definitely a, a help helping hand because uh, just playing against him also. In high school, um, I played against him my junior year, and um, just seeing how you know how he plays and what he, he brings to the table, so uh, definitely I can uh, relate to him a lot, and um, just in the aspect. So, do you miss playing on the offensive side of the ball? <laughs> uh, a little bit, a little bit. Uh, me and uh, me and Micah also uh, we talk about that all the time. Just kind of how we uh, look back at the uh, times we go and win against each other, and how we both play offense. And uh, that we kind we kind of miss a little bit, but once you know, once you uh, turn to DB, it's kind of just a lifestyle. So once you turn to DB, you know, you just don't look back. So how's that relationship between you and Micah? He rivals Brookville and Heritage, and mm -hmm. now teammates. How's that relationship developed, and how well do you two get along out there since you guys share similar positions? Uh, we got along even in high school. You know, that's always been like my brother. And um, we just kind of relate to each other, and um, he's actually my he's actually my roommate, so I'm with him 24/7. And um, we just kind of communicate, just kind of uh, based off what our strengths and weaknesses are. So we just improve off of that. So I know you guys went up against each other in high school, but uh, how long does your relationship span? I mean, when did you guys meet, and did, were y'all um, friends at all in high school? We're friends. Uh, we we definitely meet. We definitely met uh, probably my junior, my junior, our junior year. Uh, that's when I kind of just went up against him one-on-one -on -one matchup. You know, both times we played him throughout my uh, junior and senior year. So that's kind of when we just clicked off. And just every time, every game, we hit each other up, you know, say good luck, you know, and just, just went at it when it came to the game time. So That junior year at Heritage when you guys played Appomattox, was that the year you guys ended Appomattox winning streak? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. What do you remember about that game and, uh, you know, how much have you developed as a player since then? Um... I remember a lot about that game. Uh, atmosphere was definitely great. Um, just from having perspective of 
uh, you know, that's when Javon played. And just for that aspect of just having a lot of people there and a great atmosphere. And for us to actually, you know, beat them and they're three times state championship team and uh, to actually beat them that game was, it was very special. So, How special is it for you playing in your hometown in front of your family, friends, and being a contributor on this team now? Um, it's, it's definitely, definitely a blessing. Like I said, um, a lot of people don't have this opportunity. Um, and just I just don't try to take it for granted. You know, I try to do everything I can and try to uh, still be a, a role model to young people and young kids here and try to show them that, you know, they can do this also. So, I think when the coaching change happened and Coach Freeze came in, uh, Coach Gill had already been kind of recruiting you at that point. But uh, what was the uh, dynamic like there when you first met Coach Freeze? Um, it was it was definitely it was definitely uh, I didn't look at it as perspective as a bad thing from losing the old coaching staff and I just I just feel like uh, it was just it was truly kind of a it was just a good it was a it was a good process because just from not having to build my relationship with the old coaching staff but it was still kind of of a true it was a true meaning to get a relationship with the new coaching staff and just not having to start over with anything or anything like that. So, What was that first meeting like with Coach Freeze? Coach, uh, I actually met him after the state championship game. Uh, as, soon as, as soon as we won the state championship game here at, uh, at Liberty, uh, I went over and uh, have, had a great conversation with him and um, just thanked, he, uh, just thanked, thanked me you know, for still, still being able to be here and not transfer anything like that. And um, we just definitely uh, kicked off right there. So.